As you all can see, I have a lot of cards to share with you. I've been putting off doing a video on them, but I am going to share them with you. The first of these I made at Stamp Camp. Uh, one of my friends is a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and we may, I went to one of her stamp camps, and we made four cards using all of her Stampin' Up! products. And this one is very, very simple. It just says, Happy Birthday. And it's got some punched and embossed butterflies right there. So, that's a simple one. This is another simple one. It's a happy birthday. And it's just got three different colored hearts. And this cute little hinge clip. It is adorable. You just kind of put it on there to hold it. But it's super cute very simple more simple than I'm used to so it's different but anyway and this one is a sympathy card can you see that yeah it says sharing in your sorrow it's embossed using the Versamark dazzle and gold embossing powder and pretty tree and I haven't added the white paper underneath yet so this is just another card that we made she ripped the edges using this ruler type thing. I'll have to get one of those because I like the way that it came out. And I think, I know we made another one but I'm not sure where it is. I'm sure it'll pop up in here somewhere. Um, but this is another card. This is one that I made on my own. And it just says, you make me smile. That's embossed. And I use my Nestabilities ovals to make the um, I was going to try not to say um, but to make the as circle ovals die cuts there we go and I use the Tim Holtz elegant flourishes to make the flourishes and this is a baby rose I bought from Kima um, Kima's creator yeah I think it's jokima.etsy.com j-o-a-k-i-m-a -A. she has a great price on these and they're super cute and it's just a regular old card and I used paper tray ink uh, cardstock and also this designer paper. I love their hodgepodge collection of paper. It's just like every paper they have all in one and it's a great great price. And this is a vintage card I made using the Le Romantique from Graphic 45. I just got an image here and an image and a little tag there and I did a bow um, using mesh and a prima flower. Well, I don't think that's a prima flower actually. Uh, anyway, I colored it with um, tattered leather glimmer mist and then added this little pearl button and then made a bow down here with green, with like kind of, it's kind of seafoam green, satin, silk ribbon, and a brown button. And this red background really, it was red border really makes it pop. And I love adding buttons to the top of my bows. It's, I love doing that. You'll see me do that a lot. And I made several of these for my craft fair. Um, this is just, you know, happy holidays. I used stickles and I used some leftover paper from my mind's eye, I believe, from last year. So I've got several of those. Uh, there's going to there's gonna be more that will pop up and I'll just put them aside as they come along. And this is a Christmas card I made. This is a Blintz pocket. And got a Poinsettia sticker here and I tied a little red silk satin bow and stamped his happy holidays on it so yeah that's pretty much it I leave all these blank on the inside so that people can write whatever they want and this is what I made using recycled items this is uh, a priority mailbox this cardboard down here and I just used that as a piece of instead of cardstock then I used my stitching template to make these X's here. And I used my Paper Studio Butterfly Punch and then went over them with, uh, this one was punched out of Mariposa paper, I believe. And this one was stamped, was punched out of, I think, probably just some hodgepodge paper from Paper Tray Ink. And the rest were cut out of paper tray ink cardstock and stamped with a, a tapestry or no 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 I can't remember what stamp I used to 
uh, stamp them with, but it was a pretty cool one. Anyway, and I print out, printed out the word beautiful and cut it out and then did some distressing with tea dye ink, distress ink, and this is on pink cardstock, and I added the white for, pe for people to write. Again, here's one more, one more of those Blintz Pocket Happy Holidays ones. Okay, here's another one of those Happy Holidays cards. And this is a Happy Holidays card. And it's very, I just took my faded jeans, Distress Ink, and I did some stamping here and here. And then back here, I can't remember what stamp I used on the back right there and then just punched out the circles and used a poinsettia sticker and it's actually scalloped punched down here and then actually this is paper from a I can't remember the name of the company that makes the paper down here and then up here too and I did a lot of distressing on the edges or inking on the edges and it opens up vertically and got another one of those another one of these and this is one of my favorites. Um, yeah, it goes this way. <laughs> I use my nestabilities to do this. With, I printed out the, it's like a poem that I found online. And I just figured out the dimensions of what the window I wanted it to be on my computer and then made a shape in Microsoft Word and then made sure that the poem fit inside that shape and then printed it off, put it there, and then cut out an oval in my designer paper and then embossed with the nestabilities, uh, spellbinders. And then I just added these Prima Baby Roses up here and I did alcohol ink, I think butterscotch alcohol ink on these rhinestones right here. And I love this card. Love it. I hope that sells well. This is another recycled card. This is a priority mail box um, that I've to torn the cover off of. And I've got this kite from Kane Company. And these little thickers here. They're felt. They're not, they're not felt. They're, I can't remember what the exact texture is. But I am missing something right here. So I'm going to have to take that off so it doesn't look, doesn't look um, blank. And this one is a square card that I made. And I cut out this image of the lady from the Romantique paper. And just kind of put her over here as a silhouette. And then I tied with the, tied a bow with this va uh, vase, lace. And then used a pearl strand here and here. And got some Tim Holtz grunge paper, and in the back right here is the Romantique paper. So, I hope you can see that. And then this card, it says, You Make Me Smile. That's from the Verve Blue Skies stamp set, which I love. Got some different buttons up here, and the La Rom La Romantique uh, paper. And I kind of crumbled it a little bit, and then went over, went over it with Memento Black pigment ink. Or not pigment ink, but um, just black ink. And then I took a little romantique cut out from the paper. And then I used a mulberry, I think it's a mulberry, but it's a Prima. And did this ribbon so it kind of really brings the focus in. And I like it. And then I did several of these using my Greeting Farm stamp. Uh, she is adorable. I colored her in with my uh, Prismacolor colored pencils and used paper from the HodgePodge collection on paper from Paper Tray Ink and did some green ribbon here and some faux stitching and it says blue skies are coming your way that's from the verb blue skies uh, stamp set and I made five of those I believe so that's all that all those are and then this is my favorite card right here and I did the same thing I, f I figured out the size of my uh, my oval and then did a shape in Microsoft Word and then typed inside that shape to make sure that I would have, you know, it's a birthday card, so it's a birthday poem. And then I just used the uh, Nestabilities Spellbinders to cut out in this checkered paper around and then set it over the printed poem. And I took all these tiny little Prima flowers that I got from Paper Tray Ink and then put tiny little pearls on them. 
and then I went around the edge in red Copic marker and there's a little pearl strand here and this card just looks stunning in person in real life and it's embossed around here with the uh, the spellbinders die and I'm just in love with it uh, I'm gonna have a hard time letting this one go I hope it sells because I I want it to sell but I'm selling all my cards for 275 or three four six twenty five I think is what my price is and apparently people don't like to pay more than a dollar for a card at a craft fair but I'm thinking you go to Hallmark you go to Walmart and I challenge you to find a car that has any dimension whatsoever for a dollar. So I think that's pathetic that people are looking for prices like that at a craft fair for a handmade card. But if they don't sell, then I'm not going to lower my prices. I'm just going to keep them for myself. So <laughs> I just wanted to share all these with you. Um, I've been making these are ones that I made several times or several um, weeks ago and just over time. So. I will continue to share with you my cards that I make, and hopefully I can get some made today. I'm in a card-making mood, but that's all I wanted to share with you guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Bye.